using prime factorization, find the LCM of 15, 32 and 66. I'm going to walk you through it. Have your finished work in front of you so you can check your steps with me. Pause the film and do it now if you haven't already finished. Here's my process. First, we find the prime factorization of each of the numbers. 15 is from 3 times 5, both prime. 32 is from 4 times 8, 4 is from 2 times 2, 8 is from 2 times 4, and 4 is from 2 times 2, circle of primes. 66 is from 11 times 6, 6 is from 2 times 3, circle of primes as you've probably been doing already in school. Now set out a prime factors table and put the like factors in vertical columns. Leave a space where there's no match. When I set out this table I have to order the numbers somehow. So I pick the number which has the highest occurrence of the prime factor 2 because it generally ends up looking neater. 32 is 2 to the power 5. It has the prime factor 2 5 times. 15 has the prime factors 3 and 5. 66 has the prime factors 2, 3 and 11. Notice how only factors that match are in vertical columns. Everything else is in its own column. All the prime factors are listed in the table now. So next I find the prime factors of our LCM. One factor from each column. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 11 and now we work out the value of our LCM as shown by the prime factors we have here. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 times 2 is 32 times 3 is 96 times 5 Okay, I need a quick note to help me with this one. 5 6 is a 30, 5 9 is a 45, add in the remaining 3, 48, 96 times 5 is 480. And now 480 times 11. Okay, another quick scribble. 11 times 0 is 0, 11 times 8 is 88, 11 times 4 is 44, add in the 8, that's 52. 5,280. There is the LCM of 15, 32 and 66. 5,280. Did you get that too? If not, please check your math against mine to find out where you made a mistake. There are online LCM calculators which you can use to check your work after you've done the calculations. What can I say? It's much quicker than listing multiples to check your own work. Any guess how long that calculation would have taken if we had tried to use the listing the multiples method? Without the prime factorization approach, I would have probably given up after about 15 minutes. How about you? If you'd like a really tricky LCM challenge, click on this link. For this, you'll need to do prime factorization through short division. So click it and come on over if you're up for the challenge. If this video helped you, please click the thumbs up. Thanks.